Welcome back. I'm Roy with Rugged Badger Racing and Team Parts Badger. If you've been watching our video series, you know we have a champ car built Miata with an Ecotech swap. Uh, this is the Parts Badger Miata, and we are running big ass front brakes. We have 11.75 inch rotors that are 0.18 inches thick, running the AFCO F88, which is the same as the Willwood Superlight Caliper. These are massive calipers with massive brake pads, and the goal is that we do not run out of brake pad during endurance racing. Now, when I have rented with teams that have the exact same set, up uh, as this running ST43 pads. We had almost no pad wear after an entire weekend. Now, I can't get ST43 pads anymore. I used to run those with my Dynalite. They don't make the compound. That's from Ray Bestos, and they were phenomenal brake pads. I don't know why they stopped producing. So I've been trying out other brake pads, and here is my breakdown. So for starters, I have a Willwood BP20 pad. This is a street pad that is only here for uh, demonstration of thickness. I have a, I believe these are Hawk DTC. DTC 30 pads. I have Hawk DTC 50 pads as well as Willwood BP 40 pads. So first off, let's talk about the pads and their performance on track. Frankly, no noticeable difference between the DTC 30, the DTC 50, and the BP 40 pads. I will tell you that these pads started to smell and I got a little worried because I was smelling brake pad. Um, so I did take it easy a little bit on the Willwood pads. Now with the Hawk pads, um, I did not have that problem, but they all felt about the same. Uh, no real performance difference between these. Let's look at wear. So these are a brand new set of pads. You see how thick these are. These pads have seven hours at Gingerman, seven hours at Audubon, seven hours at Audubon. So with the DTC 30 pads, you can see we have substantially more pad left than the DTC 50 pads, which are almost completely worn down. Uh, same as the BP 40 pads. On both of these pads, I actually took it easy for the last hour and a half of the race, uh, just so I didn't run out of pads. But I'd say life on these is around seven hours if you're going full clip, uh, so be really careful with these pads. These pads, maybe we have about nine hours in a DTC 30 pad. Nonetheless, none of those are close to what we're running with the ST43. So this is my summary on brake pads. We have uh, Hawk ER1s on the way, as well as PFC uh, 11 compounds on the way. We're going to be testing those. Hopefully, we can find a pad that's similar to the performance of the ST43, which is frankly amazing. We're also going to work on our heat overall because in these pads, we know that the driver's side was wearing just a little bit more than the passenger side. So we want to make sure that those ducts are nice and clear and we have good piping. We did inspect them. There's nothing stuck in the brake ducts, um, and they're roughly the same brake ducts that we've been running for seasons without issues. Nonetheless, we're going to look into that. Now, if you like this content, please remember to like and subscribe below for more videos. But this is my quick experience with uh, these variety of pads running the super light caliper, same as the AFCO F88. Stay tuned for more.